All right, hey guys, wanted to do a quick video here just to show you how to split screen on your iPad. So the next couple assignments that we're gonna do are gonna involve you uh, recording yourself and reading music. If you only have one device available to you, it's just your school iPad, then this is a really nice way for you to be able to do that on one device. If you have a phone or if you have a computer or something that you can display and then your iPad can record, then you probably don't need this video, although it's kind of nice to watch. So go ahead and just watch it so that way you can gain some more functionality from your iPad. But this is how you split screen. So here I am. Uh, what I want to be able to do is I want to split screen so I can have the Schoology app open to record uh, what I'm playing. And then also I want my PDF viewer to be able to display what I need to be playing. It's all one-stop shop here on your iPad screen. So if you look at my iPad, um, this is my iPad right here. And you look at the bottom uh, right-hand corner, the bottom you see the dock. In the dock are the most used apps. You can take things out of the dock and put things into, into the dock. And on the bottom right-hand corner, those are the ones that are currently kind of the, the last apps that you've used. So here I'm going to go into Schoology. I've hacked into one of your Schoology accounts. You also didn't do the e-learning. I won't mention your name, although you know who you are. And I'm going to go over here to uh, e-learning day one. This is just because I want an assignment. And obviously we go over to submissions and boom, we haven't made any submissions. So we're going to click the plus button and it's going to give us the ability to record audio. Now you can only do this th through the app. I know there are kind of some, some different ways to do this, but the, you have to use the app to make this whole thing work. So to split screen, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to drag up just ever so slight, slightly from the bottom until the dock shows up. You see that? Now, if I go too far and see how, oh, it's going too far, I don't want to do that. So I'm going to let the dock come up and then I'm going to take this fidget spinner app on the bottom right hand corner, it's the PDF viewer, and I'm going to drag up on it. So you click and you drag and see that? All of a sudden it appears. And if I take it to the right side, it'll split screen like that, or I can set it on this side and it'll split screen over here. And I'm going to put it on this side because I like having it over here. And look at that, we have a split screen between, and my iPad's gonna think about it. All right, there we go. We have a split screen between the music, it's Drum Corps on Parade by John S. Pratt, and the record button. You could even take this slider here and move it over to give yourself as much room as possible. You only get about that much, and then it goes. Okay, so that's pretty good. So what you're gonna do is when you go to play it, you're able to read the music on the right-hand side and record on the left-hand side. Obviously not great as it's smaller than a normal piece of paper, but it's gonna get us through if and in fact you only have one device. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, message me on Schoology, I'll be able to help. To get out of this, you just take this uh, handle right here in the middle um, and see how it's gonna go back and forth and just slide it all the way to one side and I am out of split screen mode. Hopefully that was helpful to you. And uh, that's all she wrote.